Now, to simplify all this, I spoke about the seven steps. Number one is arranging clips on timeline. Number two, trimming and cutting to suit exactly what you want. Number three, adding transition. Number four, applying effects. Number five, adding music and sound effect. Then number six, basic color grading. And number seven, exporting your project. So I'm going to start with arranging clips on timeline. Then we'll move over to cutting and trimming. So you come to the app, then you start new project. Now, I want us to do a project of what I would call uh, about uh, what others are saying about Skill Up Niger. So these are the videos that are already in my phone. So I'm going to navigate to where I will find the very clips I want to use. And you can do that too. If you have clip on your phone, you navigate to where that clip is and you will use the clip that you want to use. So I'm going to the clip. So I will go to my uh, folder and I want to check the camera folder. Then under the camera folder, I will pick, uh, let's say, two videos here that I want to use. Okay, let me pick this and this. And maybe I will pick this also. These are three uh, video lineup now that I want to use. So I can also navigate out of here, go to another place, let's say here, to find more clip. So I think I will pick uh, a cut from here also. Now, I have all this, then I need to use a few photos as well. So I'm going to photos. So I'm. Uh, these are photos. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, nice. So I think I will need to use this photo, this photo, and... Um, okay, let me use this one too. I think this is a photo for me. So I will click on this. Uh, orange arrow here for me to take everything that I've collected. You can see what I've collected are all lined up here. You can see them here. All of them are here. I have several videos and uh, photos, so I'll click them to go inside. So seven of them all together, they are now inside my timeline. So the first thing we say you should do, that is what we have done now. We have exported everything that we want to use into our timeline. It's now time for us to arrange them according to how we want them. There are seven of them here. Some are very long, so it's time to arrange them. So for me to arrange it, I will have to click, hold down what is here. Now that I've hold this down, there is a video I want to be at the front. So I want these pictures to be at the back, then I want this video to be at the front. After this one, I want this other one to also follow this video. Now I have two of them at the front. So I'm going to click here. Now we will start our work immediately. Now, from this very beginning, I don't need everything in this video. You can see this video is quite long. So I don't need everything in this video. I only need a few parts of this video. So this is what I need in this video. So I'm going to click here. Then there's a split. So I want to cut from here. That's what I want. I will split. So now we are trimming and we are cutting. Now, I want the video to start from here. I don't want the front one. So I'm going to remove this front. So I'm going to click on that and I will click on delete. All right. Now... I don't want the entire video. I just want a little of it. So I'm going to scroll down to where you can see where they're giving them a word. That is the only place I want. So when she's clapping, I think it's enough. When this clapping is enough. So I will trim again from here. You see split? I'll split. Then whatever is remaining, I want it deleted. So here is the first one. Let's look at it. This is what you get. Okay, this is what I want. I just want this few part. All right. So now I would like to, uh, what I was doing just now was cutting. I would like to adjust the video. I don't want NTA to show. I don't want what is this background to show. So I'm going to click on BG. You can see BG right here. Click on BG. Then I will expound it with both of my finger like that. Now NTA is gone. So is the third layer. So I can bring it closer a little. Third layer is gone and NT is gone. So I don't need the bottom layer. This is what I want. So I can then go through it. You can see no more NTA. Only the bottom layer is what is right there. So that's what I want. So this other one right here, this one here, 
can see what we have here. I want this crowd and I want to blend it with the other ones. I think I'm okay with the length, so I'm not going to trim it. So I want to blend with it. So I'm going to click on the okay. We're going to do that when we're doing effect. We're going to blend it. Now it's just only trim it. Now, this man, I don't want everything that he said. I only want a few things that he said. So I'm going to scroll to where I want when he said just a few things. Okay, towards the end. This is just what I want. Okay. So this is what I want. I'll click here. You can listen to what he's saying, then you'll know the path that you want to take. So this is just the part that I want. So so here, I will split out, remove what I don't want, delete this. So I just want only this little one. All right, then this woman, there is something that she said that I want. So I'm going to scroll to the towards the end to, to get what she said here, right here. So I will remove this one. You can see everything we had since was about six minutes. Now we have less than that. So this is how you actually trim and cut. Like this one, you can see it here. It's not what we want it to be expanded. So use your both fingers and you expound it. Then you arrange it the way you want it. Then the same thing with this. You go to BG, you expand with your both fingers. So now it's adding transition. We have cut and we have trim and we have actually arranged clip the way we want them. So adding transition, that is what is next. Now to add transition, all you need to do is to go to where videos are supposed to join each other. Like right here, you can see a small pencil here. I'm going to click on it. Now it's giving me different kind of transition that are here, different, different type of transition. Some transitions, you have pro on them. You are only, when you are on pro version, that's when you're going to use it. So I want to use a zoom in transition which is uh, this, it's called blur out. So let's use this. So you can see how our videos are going to transit now, one video to the other. Okay. You can see how it transit, one video to the other. It zoom in like that, blur in like that. So this one, there's also pencil here. How is it going to go? So I want it to be uh, a different kind of blending that just have to uh, flap in. It's called turn page. So we're going to use turn page. So you can see how it goes. Turn page like that. Okay. Then for this third one, I want it to just be uh, a kind of a, a link or a glow. Let's, let's use glow 2. You can see the way it looks. Glow 2. So then the other one, which are the images, I want us to use something quite a little bit dramatic. So I will use, uh, okay, I think let's use Cycolate 1. See the way it's going to go? Cycolate and bring that one in. Then this one as well. Let's see how this one goes. I want us to use a clock wipe. Check it. I love that. Then uh, this. I want us to just use a fade A, fade B. So fade B, okay, beautiful. So that is us putting transitions. So we have added transition, then now we can apply effect. What kind of effect do we want to apply? So are we going to apply, now you can see here there are different kind of effect. A different kind of effect we can use, but I think my job is neat enough. I might not need all the effect, but there are different kind of effect you can add. But this very beginning, let's add this spark. So I'm going to add spark to this very beginning. You can see because they are giving a word, so I want a spark. Yeah, you can see it flashing through the spark. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to click good. So that is the spark that I've added. So let's play what we have done so far. You can see our video. There's a spark on the video. A lot of beautiful one, right? Now you can see clapping, clapping, and all that. Okay, there are no spark yet. So let's say we can add a little more effect to this one. Uh, let's go back to effect. Let's see the kind of effect we can add to this one. 
maybe we can add uh, this one to it let's see this not too nice i don't like it so to remove effect all you need to do is to use this uh, remove then you see remove effect remove last effect so let's try another effect or rather i think you know you have an idea of what effect is right now so let's see if we can use smoke instead so we'll use a smoke effect you spread it around it spread it to the end that is it so let's play it first and see what we got so after this we have smoke effect you can see smoke all over the place all right so for this man talking what effect are we going to use so this is how you choose different different effects that you will use for him talking i want us to use this lightning effect let's see this so let's spread lightning over it all right so i think you pretty get what we are talking about so i can use the this other effect then we can use the snow effect as well And use this no effect so i think this is enough for now let's play it and see what we get